Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I will walk you through the installation of Kali Linux 2023 in uh, VirtualBox on uh, Windows 10 and PC. This is a step-by-step -step guide on installing Kali Linux 2023 on VirtualBox. The version we will be install is Kali Linux 2023.3. Watch this video till the end and learn how to install Kali Linux 2023 in a virtual box on a Windows and PC. If you are new on my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. Since we are installing Kali Linux in a virtual box, you must have uh, enable hardware virtualization on your PC or laptop. By default, uh, this feature is enabled and allow you to run and test any OS in a virtual environment. So, let, so this is the task manager where you can see your virtualization is enabled or not. So make sure it's enabled. And uh, if it's not enabled, you should uh, set your BIOS setting. And uh, so after checking the virtualization, you need to watch my previous video, which I created on uh, the topic uh, where you can learn how to install VirtualBox on uh, Windows 10. So first watch that video. I will put the link in the description and also add uh, that video in i button and also I will pin uh, in the uh, comment box. After the installation of uh, VirtualBox, then uh, you will uh, move to this video and uh, here you will learn how you can uh, download uh, Kali Linux from the official website of Kali Linux which is uh, kali.org. So here uh, we are going to install Kali Linux uh, ISO file because uh, uh, if you trying to create uh, a virtual machine, you need to install iOS file of uh, that virtual machine which you want to create. Like uh, if you want to create a Ubuntu uh, machine, you will uh, download the ISO file for the Ubuntu virtual machine, then you can create your virtual machine with that iOS file. So move to the topic and here we are going to uh, install a Kali Linux ISO file. Uh, I will put the link in the description for download this ISO file. So when you reach on the page, just click on the download button and here uh, you have uh, uh, ISO uh, file and uh, also multi multi options that you can use. So according to this uh, tutorial, I will download this 64-bit uh, ISO file. So you can uh, also install any one of these uh, ISO file. So I'm just going to install uh, ISO file for Kali Linux. So let's get started our downloading. So my downloading has been started and it's uh, around 3.9 gigabyte uh, of uh, size of this file. So it will uh, depends on your internet speed. So uh, I'm just pausing my video and uh, we'll come back when it uh, completes. Yep. Okay guys. So my ISO file has been downloaded and now it's time to create a virtual machine for Kali Linux. So open your Oracle uh, VirtualBox manager and here we will add uh, or create a new uh, machine. So just click on that. Okay, here we will name that machine. So According to this uh, tutorial, we are creating Kali Linux. So we will name it as Kali Linux. 
Okay, so here you can see type is Linux and the version we will use uh, Debian 11. So it's up to you. Uh, you can uh, choose any one of these uh, options. So uh, I'm going to use Debian 11. So click on next. Here you can set your hardware settings like processors, like uh, how many processors uh, do you want to give that uh, machine and uh, this is the base me memory so I usually uh, drag this to the end of the this green line so you guys also uh, drag this uh, to this green line so this is good for this machine and uh, for the processors I will give three processes to this machine now just next so now it's uh, time to uh, give a memory or disk size to this machine so by default it's 20 gps so i'm going to change this to the 30 gb so it's not compulsory to set this uh, disk size to 30 gbs you can uh, uh, allocate this storage uh, as you want so I'm just finish this setup and now select this machine and go to the settings now we will do some settings so here you can see these are the settings for this uh, virtual machine here you have we have a basic uh, information and about uh, advanced information so here I will just change this uh, option to bidirectional so it's uh, basically used to so it's uh, basically used to copy and paste uh, anything between your host machine to your windows machine so uh, it's up to you you can uh, if you want to uh, change this setting so you can change this uh, as you like here just I will increase the uh, video memory and uh, and it also it's not compulsory now it's time to add our downloaded ISO file to this uh, machine so just click on that empty uh, CD icon and here we will select our ISO file so this is our ISO file that we are going to add in this machine so just add same like this and uh, click OK. So finally we set up everything. Now it's time to launch our Linux Kali Linux 2023.3. So just click on the start button. So let me just expand my screen. And uh, here you have uh, multi options like graphical install, install advanced options and much more. So, so here uh, when you reach on this particular screen, so you will use your keyboard uh, up and down arrows because uh, uh, Windows uh, mouse will not work here. So use your use your up and down uh, arrows so i will uh, choose the graphical install and press enter so uh, this is the setup screen for kali linux so choose your language and uh, click continue from here you can select your uh, location and uh, click continue so here we will choose the language for keyboard so choose according to your language and continue okay it's scanning installing media so basically uh, it's uh, installing all the dependencies which are required so it will take i think it will take two or three minutes okay uh, here you will uh, define the name of this machine so I will leave uh, as a default because it's Kali and absolutely we are working uh, on uh, Kali so I will leave this as default next 
domain name for domain name i will recommend you to leave it as empty here we will provide our username so i provided a name and continue so here we will choose uh we will set our user password so let me just set my user password now continue all right so just click continue so here it's uh, asking for use your entire disk so let me go with this uh, default option so here i will also go with the default okay our partition disk setup has been completed so now continue now it's, in, it's installing the base system so it will require five minutes so our base system installation has been completed now it's installing the prerequisite packages or softwares so here you have uh, some uh, options that you can uh, use according to your desire so i will leave everything as a default just continue this so guys finally our installation and setup has been completed now it asks us to please choose continue to reboot so let me just continue now uh now our machine will reboot okay so our machine has been rebooted now it's time to log in to Kali Linux that we just uh, created enter your password which you created on the time of uh, creation so this is the first look of uh, Kali Linux let me just uh, expand or full that screen so this is the first look of uh, Kali Linux you can see uh, here first we will uh, do some uh, or perform some commands so let me just expand that you can easily see my screen okay so here we will type some commands uh, it's uh, not for you I'm just uh, testing this uh, terminal so now uh, I will uh, just do one thing that uh, I will update and upgrade my machine so it's not uh, compulsory for you and uh, if uh, you want to update or upgrade your machine it's up to you and uh, the commands which I am using here I will put in the description box so you can easily copy from the description box so this is the command uh, I'm using for update or upgrade Here you can see, I think my command is not uh, correct. So this is all the uh, functions of this uh, Kali Linux. And uh, these are all the tools which are used uh, for uh, hacking. Basically, Kali Linux is used to hack uh, in good words, not in bad words 